For over 25 years, Lifesaver Pool Fence has manufactured and continually improved our mesh pool safety fence. While the product of most pool fence brands have remained unchanged for many years, sometimes decades, the Lifesaver Pool Fence has consistently evolved. Last year, we developed our solid performance pole. We knew from internal testing that it was significantly stronger than anything we had produced ourselves in the past. But as we started developing our latest model of the Lifesaver Pool Fence, we found several aluminum pole designs which all claim to be the strongest and heard reports on fiberglass pole designs that claim to be unbendable and unbreakable. It is our goal to make the strongest, safest pool fence possible. And we want to use the very best pole, so we decided to test all the different pole types available and whichever one proved to be the strongest, that would be the pole used in the Lifesaver Pool Fence. To make sure that everything was done scientifically, fairly, and without bias, all of the testing was supervised by Dr. Robert Lyons. Dr. Lyons is the inventor of the Safety Turtle, an award-winning pool safety product. He holds a doctorate in engineering and has helped write the quality standards for pool safety products. The tests were conducted personally by Lifesaver's chief engineer, who opted to use a three-pulley comparison test. A three-pulley comparison test is easily repeatable. It is the most consistent and the most accurate method available. I'm sitting here with Casey, a product specialist with Lifesaver Pool Fence, who's going to share some insight on these tests. Now this initial test is between three aluminum poles, the parallel core, the X pole, and the Y pole. Yes, these three poles are used by the vast majority of other pool fence companies. So these are pretty common. Yes, uh, most companies offer these as their premium line, and Lifesaver offers these as a more economical option. So the, what are we looking at here? Well, as you can see, the, we begin the test here. The X pole fails at 34.25 pounds, and Parallel performs the best out of the three. Up next, we have two different fiberglass designs. Casey, what can you tell me about these two different poles? Well, the honeycomb pole is a hollow fiberglass pole reinforced by a fiberglass webbing. The other fiberglass pole has a fiberglass insert that goes several inches into the pole at its base. When we were setting up this test, all of our staff members who handled the fiberglass poles complained about fiberglass splinters in their hands. They ended up handling all these poles with gloves to avoid the splinters. If it's painful in the hands of an adult, I definitely wouldn't want my child touching it. Especially with the pole being the right height for his face. Listen. When the fiberglass pole breaks, it really shatters. The fiberglass pole has performed the best with what we have seen so far. Now it's time to see how Lifesaver's pole measures up to the better fiberglass pole. Tell me about Lifesaver's design. The Lifesaver's solid performance pole has an eighth inch thick wall made of aircraft grade aluminum and a half inch metal insert reinforced by a shock absorbing PVC sleeve. Quick question, does Lifesaver use fiberglass at all? Not at all. We used to, but even though fiberglass is less expensive for us to make, our experiences with it, with the painful splinters and its lack of longevity has made us stop using it. I, I gotta be honest, I didn't expect the Lifesaver pole to do so well. You can see that our solid performance pole has exceeded 100 pounds of force without failure. That's almost 20% stronger than the best fiberglass pole. That fiberglass pole was holding strong, then it just shattered. Yeah, when it breaks, it breaks completely. There is no way to keep using the fiberglass pole after it has been broken. Watching it again slowly, I would assume those splinters from the broken pole would be a real safety hazard. How a pool fence performs when it is brand new is important, but how it holds up over the years is just as, if not more important. Tell me about aluminum poles after the years have passed. The thing about aluminum that is that it doesn't rust or degrade. You should hardly notice any changes to your Lifesaver poles over time. What about fiberglass? How do they hold up after years have passed? In our experience, not so good. But let's let the test speak for itself. The Lifesaver pole doesn't show much change over time, but this fiberglass pole has lost almost half of its strength in just over three years. One final test we wanted to put these poles through was at an independent testing facility. This was a three-point load calculation test. This test on a calibrator machine is actually a more accurate testing method for pool fence poles. How so? Well, simply put, there is no human element in this test. This is as precise as you can get when it comes to testing the true strength of a pole. 
There seems to be a big difference between the two poles. The fiberglass pole topped out at 470 pounds of force about halfway through the test. And Lifesaver's poles just stayed strong all the way through. Yeah, it withstood almost four times as much force, taking it to almost 1,700 pounds. I've attended a full day's worth of testing of bull fence poles, both here at the Lifesaver facility and at Nutting Engineering. And my conclusions are as follows. The Lifesaver pole with the steel core is head and shoulders the strongest pole among all those we tested. I didn't like the way the uh, fiberglass poles fractured and the ones that had been in use for a number of years showed a significant deterioration in strength. By way of disclosure, I have known Eric Lupton, President of Lifesaver, and Steve Berger for many years. We've both been active in the pool safety industry and we've collaborated. I have not been paid to be here.